cannot believe I'm doing this again. It's been like, what, like two months since I've like done a proper video, reaction video. I've streamed a couple times and that's it. I haven't done a proper reaction video in what feels like fucking forever. But um, I guess I'm back doing it. Even though I said I would never do so ever again. But I'm back doing it. What the fuck is wrong with me? But uh, anyways, uh, what's up guys? It's Lando here and I'm back again with another reaction video. And um, today I'm going to be reacting to an EP that came out a week ago by um, somebody who I've covered on the channel before. Um, Lil Roxy XO, you may know who he is. Um, but he released um, an EP um, a few, like seven days ago, a week ago, called Bloody Slutty Vampires. He asked if I could react to it and I said yes. It just took me a week to do so. I was going to do it last week when it came out, but I had a band concert on last Saturday. And, um, I was, and it put me out of action, uh, on, sun, on, on the next day, Sunday. So, I, um, I, I couldn't do the video then. Even though I wanted to, but I couldn't. I sound enthusiastic right now, but truth is, I am excited to listen to this EP because, um, Lil Roxy XO's music, alright? It, it, it bangs, alright? Alright, it's fire. It's some fire shit. We also got a super fire cover art, um... Which was drawn by uh, somebody by the name of Disturbed, who is on Instagram. Um, this is his Instagram right here. Um, he makes a ton of different cover arts. So um, if you're an underground artist and you need a cover art, you can uh, go contact him. You know, his Instagram is fuck disturbed. So as far as track listing goes, there's five tracks. One of them being a single, which I've already listened to. Um, that song is called Titania Rome, Roman Nova. I've already heard that chakra Ray, so we're not going to listen to that song in this video. Um, but the four hour tracks um, are called Makeup, produced by Rosegum. Um, we got Eminem featuring Vivi, Vi produced by Die Perry. We got 1927 Flower Street, produced by Era Gold. And then we got Grand Duchess, produced by Gasha and Secret. However, what I did find a little weird though is that in the description there is um, a track called Twilight featuring Rockstar. However, the song isn't, of course, on the official track list, so I don't know why that's there. Maybe that was planned to be on the EP, but um, um, I guess Lil Roxy XO forgot to remove this after um, uh, he made the EP public, so I don't know. Um, I wish this was on the, the track listing, but it's not, so I can't listen to it. Anyway, let's just uh, let's just get into it listening to um, this EP because this intro is already dragged on long, long, long enough. So um, we're going to start off with the song Makeup, which uh, currently has 549 views. And according to the description, um, it was mixed and mastered by Lil Roxy XO, as well, most of the songs in here were mixed by him. Um. Oh yeah, it's also this part of the description as well. Let's give this a read. Relive the unfiltered experience of my first small taste of success in the music industry, documenting my life in the underground New York scene, recent in LA, and even my deep desire for forgiveness. This project is a reminder to myself. My amazing adventures had a price as I learned everything in life isn't what you perceive it as. I've lost many friends, cried countless on the nights, and we completely broke this project together. Bloody Slave Vampires is not my dream anymore. It's a terrible reality. Well, damn. Given that's the case, this might be uh, uh, this might be a pretty powerful project. So um, uh, let's just let's just get the shit started. Anyway, makeup five hundred forty nine plays produced by Rosegum. Let's uh let's listen to this shit. Got the little Russian singing going on. Oh, dude, that melody. Bro, the song sounds kind of fucking creepy with the way these vocals sound, bro. Like, I mean, it fits kind of like the theme that I'm expecting from this project. I'm expecting it to sound a little creepy. Why do I feel like I've heard this song before? Well, that was a fucking great start, bro. Holy shit, bro, that was fire. That song kind of sound. That song sounded a little familiar. I think I might have heard a snippet of this before on one of Roxy's uh, live streams. Um, cause some of those lyrics I heard sounded pretty um. It rung a bell in my mind, so, yeah. But uh, yeah, that was fire, bro. That melody, bro. Like, that, the instrumental on that track didn't even really fucking matter, bro. That song was just all the vocals, bro. Like, my God, bro. Like, bro, that shit was fire, bro. That was, that was, fuck. That was, 
The, does this even work? I, I don't even fucking know. There we go. That shit was fire. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, okay, I'll stop. Fucking cringe. I mean, I'm not lying. I mean, I told y'all I wasn't lying when I'm uh when I said that Lil Rocks XO drops nothing but fire. So, you know. And the, these next uh three tracks are about to prove my point even further. So yeah. If you disagree if we're, if you disagree with me right now, then fuck you. Eminem, next track, featuring Vi the produced by Die Perry. Let's see what's up with this shit. Got some fucking trap metal. I see what y'all doing. This one's gonna go fucking hard. Like the tags say Hellcore. <laughs> Hellcore just is this gonna given given that it says that this song's probably gonna sound like well, I can imagine how it sounds like. Money, murder. That's where the title of the track comes from. Money, murder. This is the fucking mosh pit song, bro. For real. Vi went fucking hard on that shit, by the way. Steal my, steal my wife, eh? I mean, Lil Rock CXO is the type of person to steal your bitch, so you better be careful. I'm serious, I ain't lying. He stole mine. And mine doesn't even exist. My, my wife is invisible. And is pretty much non-existent, and he still stole it, bro. He still stole her, bro. And I'm still pissed off about it. If it wasn't for the movies, I killed my mother. <laughs> <laughs> he also said he's gonna kill my little brother. I don't have a little brother, but damn, son. Money, murder, money, murder, money, murder, money, murder, money, murder. So that song was basically a trap metal anthem about them killing people, which is um, I mean it was pretty good. If in my opinion, I like both uh, Roxy's and um, uh, Vi's performances on the track. Um, I don't prefer one over the other. They both they both did good. Roxy's um, part was like a little more like he did something more in his lane, I guess. Well, Vi, I never listened to any of Vi's music before, so I don't know what his what he mostly does. But Vi pretty much brought out like the the you know the aggression you know and shit like that so pretty much all i really got to say about that song so uh yeah um fire song once again i have i'm not being proved wrong yet here and i will not be proved wrong here i will never be proved wrong all right i am always correct i haven't even finished listening to this yet and i'm already correct all right i am confident and uh what's on this okay anyway next track 1927 flower street and the uh, description says Los Angeles, California. And um, in the tags, we got hot, sex, funk, house. So is this going to be like um, some like, uh, you know, a little sexy type track thingy sounding thing? Like some um, careless whisper type shit? You know, just like that? I hope so, bro. I need more Roxy music to fuck to, bro. That's what I need. I need more Roxy music to fuck my invisible wife to, bro. That he stole from me, but I'll, I can always get her back. All I have to do is just take a piece of paper and take some pencil and draw a stick figure, and then boom, I got another wife, bitch. Anyway, <laughs> let's listen to this shit. Oh, this is gonna be no, this is gonna be gonna be some hard sex shit. Ooh. You never fuck a blonde bitch before, bro. What the hell are you doing, bro? Drowning, drowning in the mosh pit, bro. That's something I wish I could have been doing if I could have went to that show he did back in January. But parents said no, so I couldn't, wasn't able to go to that, unfortunately. I wish I could. I saw the videos from there, too. It looks fucking lit, so. Blast 
What did they say? Cocaine suck my dick to death? What? Hold on, I I'm gonna rewind this just so I'm not tripping. Also, it sounded like he said kill a bird with a baseball bat. Which, um, you know, as long as you got good aim, you know, is a pretty effective way to kill a bird, you know? You're just all pissed off and shit, you know, just take a baseball bat to a bird, just make sure, you just gotta be fast enough, though. I wanna see you in the motherfucking life song. Bro, just the way these vocals sound, bro, they fit the song perfectly, bro. Like, did he mix this song, bro? Hold on, I gotta go back to the previous page. Yeah, bro, he did mix and master this song, bro. Like, goddamn, bro. The fucking moaning sounds but the fuck i mean in the description it did say hentai snuff film too and um this, we're like this is the third song i'm listening to and that's the only moaning sounds i've heard bro like i'm a little disappointed how dare you fucking claim vampire king bitch we all know who the fuck that is already fuck you but yeah but that shit was fire the b on that the mixing that's definitely a song i can fuck to like for real like the tempo is perfect for when you're you know sticking your um uh your thing into a girl's destination bro it's like it's just perfect no it's perfect so you know you have no problems if you're ever doing your your woman um while listening to that song anyway next track grand duchess this is the last song i'm listening to this says 269 plays um let's give this shit a listen I love the little piano sample, bro. Mm, where is that shit from, bro? It sounds fun. But he always nails these little piano beats, bro. I can't wait to see what he does on this. Kiss my body, cotton candy, purple choker, hold your neck for doggy. I've been very naughty. Purple choker, bro. I mean, purple is my favorite color, so I, you know, I can't really say anything about that, but. Oh no, that should have just made me laugh. As lips and the fish nets. She said, baby, why you like it when I cut next? Silly bitch, I'm a vamp and never leave strap. Hey yo, my man was down bad making this fucking song, bro. <laughs> but yeah, that was a good song also, even though out of all the songs I listened to, that was probably my least favorite. Also, the vocals on there also reminded me of like corpse in a way. But they actually sounded good. I mean, I said, that, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure he actually played a snippet of this song on one of his Instagram stories, and I responded to it saying, or no, he said, um, um, fuck, I don't have, I don't have a screenshot for this, but he said, um, uh, something like, what the fuck did he say? He sounds, he, I think he said, um, his, he's, he's got like the corpse vocals now, and then I responded with saying, um, well, let me see what I fucking said, cause I'm. If I, have, if I have Instagram open, I can might as well at least see what the fuck I said. Yeah, I said the only difference is new... Oh no, now I remember what he said, bro. He said, new Roxy sounding like corpse husband. And then I respond with saying, the only difference is new Roxy's music is actually good. And shit. And then, he, you know, he said, people hate core hubs in, and then we had a whole discussion and shit like that. So, yeah. Anyway, um, overall, this was a fire-ass EP, bro. Again. I was not proven wrong, bitch. My favorite track on here was definitely um, uh, Makeup, for sure. No, that shit was... Mwah. That shit was fire. Yeah, but, um... Roxy, XO, um... You did good. You did fantastic. Alright? It was, um... Um... I mean, okay. Well, this was crazy when I did it, um, the first time, but I'll try it again. It didn't fucking work. Well, I'll try this again. This thing doesn't fucking want to work. I think this thing's almost dead anyway, so I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> Fuck that. But yeah, um, you know, it, it, it was fire, alright? And stutters aside, um, that's pretty much all I really got to say. Actually, never mind, I lied. That's not all I have to say. Um, I still hope that, um, that song with Rockstar still gets, um, put out at some point because, you know, you know, I, I, I want to hear it. I want to hear that shit. Me want to hear that shit. Me want to hear that shit. 
Like, we got the Roxy and um, uh, Kid Lunacy uh, song. Now we just need the Rockstar and the uh, Roxy song, bro. No, Rocks and Roxy song, bro. Let's... Yeah! It sounds good, bro, just saying it, bro. Rocks and ro Roxy. Hell yeah, bro. If you guys want to check out this EP for yourself, which um, I highly recommend you guys do, um, there will be a link in the description as well as all of um, uh, Roxy's socials and shit like that. And um, I don't know why I did that when I said that, but... <laughs> also, go check out Disturbed. As I said in the beginning of this video, you know, if you guys want to get, like, a hand-drawn cover art and shit like that. And also, don't forget to check out um, some of other Roxy's music. You know, just listen to his whole discography, brother. He got nothing but good songs in there. Also, don't forget to check out um, uh, Roxy's... Um, other uh, songs in his discography because um he's got some he got some good shit all right believe me all right i wasn't proved wrong while listening to this fucking ep so you have my fucking word and you better fucking believe me anyway i hope you um uh enjoyed this uh this video and um i will uh, see you guys next time bye bye she came on my wrist and on my finger Never trust the bitch who's got a body like a finger I was working 12 a.m. but I just chose a singer Vanity's a bitch unless you've lost your son, my nigga She came on my wrist and on my finger She came on my wrist and on my finger She came on my wrist and on my finger